great for you. Um, was it good to get home and get a few days off? Um, kind of relax a little bit and obviously Oklahoma State tomorrow, you guys have won I think five straight by double digits. What's the key to kind of keep that moving forward as, as the most important part of the season kind of arrives? Yeah, being home's been great. I mean, we all needed it. Um, just time to refresh and just get back to our families and you know, it's super important. I mean, it's Christmas time, so um, of course it's important. And yeah, um, this game coming up is extremely important because it's the uh, first game of conference play. Um, and um, we realize, you know, what's at stake, which is um, the history of, I think it's like 30 plus months, I just heard that um, we have uh, the first game of conference and, you know, just kind of keeping that um, going and, you know, playing our, the way we play. Through the non-con, you, you know, you, you put a lot of numbers up there. Uh, now you're kind of a marked man. Just talk about your great start, but, and now talk about the, you know, how you're anticipating teams to kind of game plan you. You're going to be a focus. Um, I think just the thing I've um, been trying to do the most is just being consistent. Um, personally, um, how I've been playing, I think that's the key. It's just I'm getting in the gym every day and getting the shots up that I need to, that I've been doing ever since I've been in middle school. And I'm um, just um, keeping those shots up, being consistent, like I said. And um, But as a team you know, player, just knowing my role. Um, and I think that's what's making us so great right now is just everyone knows their role. Not one person's trying to you know, play um, too much or you know, too little. And I think we're really, really buying it. Curious, Grady, what you heard from other guys about Big 12 play and just the intensity of the games? Um, just like I keep saying, just how important it is. I mean, every game's important, but um, like you said, when you go into conference play, these are um, Big 12 teams, and um, I don't know what you know sets our Big 12 conference, but I see a bunch of stuff online, and it's just Big 12 conference, um, if not the best um, conference out there. So it's just um, tough games, you know, night in, night out. And the coach talked a lot about your growth defensively from the start of the season to now. Where do you feel like you've improved the most? Um, just you know, being active um, every single play, not taking any plays off. Because um, you know, when you get into games like these, especially now in conference play, every possession matters. You know, it can come down to one possession, and if you take one of those off, that could be the you know, difference between winning and losing by one. Grady, when you look at this game coming up and and all that you've talked about, what's at stake? how it's the Big 12, all that. What, what are you going to look for to see, I guess, maybe how ready you guys are to jump into the gauntlet that is conference play? Um, Just, you know, our energy coming into games, because you can see um, in the past when we come out with you know, a bunch of energy on the defensive side, that really, you know, propels us into our offense. And I feel like if we can come into, you know, a game like this with Oklahoma State and just come ready to ready to play as, as we should, then um, we can – you know, do what we need to do. Is there one key to that? Um, you know, is, is it a, an individual that sparks that? Is it a style that sparks that? Is, is there something that you've seen when you have good energy, this happens, or, or when you don't, maybe it's missing? I think just, you know, as an all-around team, um, just playing how we do with the selflessness. And, yeah, one or two players can, you know, score the ball or get a bunch of stops by themselves, but it's not going to you know, do anything unless we do it together. Um, that's what you've seen in the past games when, we're moving the ball freely and making an open shot turn into a wide open shot. Um, that just makes us, you know, play how we want to play, and that's really going to help us. It's been a year of firsts for you. It's going to continue to be, you know, first time on campus, first time in the uniform, first exhibition game, first real game. Now it's first Big 12 game. What's that like to, to think you're about to jump into that individually, personally, after watching all these teams battle for so many years like you have? It was exciting. I mean, like you said, everything's a first with my freshman year, and it's just another thing to add to that, and you know I'm ready for it, and I'm trying to get prepared as a team, and I'm just gonna have no experience at all. Great. Can you talk a little bit about your ability to kind of relocate off ball and just kind of get in the right spot? Because that's been a big point of emphasis. Is you like certain drills that you do during practice to kind of you know, find yourself right that space for your shot off? Yeah, of course. I mean, being con conditioned is you know extremely important for that because you're moving off the ball. You're usually running around a lot, so if you know you're getting tired easy, it's Kind of hard to you know move and then actually get a you know three pointer up and tell you know having that energy and that condition to do that is pretty hard. But watching guys like you know Steph Curry, um, just seeing how they can move um, literally the whole game because you know guys are going to be playing um, face to face with them and not letting them get an open shot. But you know if you can make that defensive tired and then kind of makes the whole defense tired, then you can get either your shot or your big man or whoever shot makes it open. Playing with Kevin and Jalen, I mean, last year, one would think we wouldn't be able to have a, a set of wings like last year for maybe a decade, but now 
just the next year, you, you guys are putting up some great numbers. Just talk about playing with those two and and uh, getting up and down the court and, and how it feels to be part of a pretty special group of wings. Yeah, Kevin J. Will have been oh, great. I feel like, you know, me coming into it, like we were talking about earlier with all, you know, the first of being a freshman, I feel like the big advantage I had was, you know, them two and um, their um, kind of leader roles that they have. And they've, you know, played in um, a bunch of past years, played in, you know, college basketball. So J. Will, literally with the championship last year, and, you know, the, the knowledge he has for the game is just, um, a big advantage for me because whenever I'm, you know, if I'm stuck with anything, I can go to them. Any questions, anything, and you know, learn how to, you know, play Kansas basketball. Hey, given your history with with Zach, uh, you you know him pretty well. Obviously, played with him a lot. Where where's he at in your from your perspective, and and how did he do over break? How how do you think he's going to do moving forward? Do you do you talk with him about that kind of stuff much? Where do you see he's at? Yeah, obviously, me and Zach have a big history. We were roommates at Sunrise, so. And we're, you know, really close. But, yeah, he's been great. Um, and we've always just getting a bunch of work in with, you know, practices coming back off from Christmas. And, you know, you know he's just continued to be consistent with um, how he's playing. And like I was talking about earlier with, you know, everyone knowing their roles. He's, you know, learning his. I'm learning mine. Everyone's learning theirs. And um, he's continued to do that great. Anything else for Grady? Just to uh, OSU is a great shot blocker. Have you guys already talked about that and looked at the film? And how do you improve on that? Because that one game, that guy got nine or ten blocks. Yeah, of course. I mean, we have a you know game plan for you know every team we play, and um, we've already um, started getting prepared to them. You know, since last week. So yeah, just coming in, we know a lot of teams have you know good centers, and obviously he's a amazing center with how he can you know defend balls and we play teams in the past like Indiana with you know Trace when he got bunch of blocks in the second half and um, just learning to you know move that ball we can't just drive and you know take the first shot it's got to be some pump fakes whatever and um, hopefully just give him foul trouble just a different game plan thanks great thanks great